So you are an actress, a comedian, a writer. You literally do everything. I don't know how. Um, and you've also done a lot of amazing recent projects. So for those who don't know you, Sashir, do you want to just talk a little bit about your background? I'm an actress uh, currently in a movie called Spree. It's a thriller. And uh, I'm also in a show called Woke. Just a cartoonist. Because the world's a racist place. And that's why I keep it light. Keep it light. Yeah. Keep it light. Don't move. Central, we the suspect, suspect. in question. What? I do stand up. I have a special out on Amazon called Pizza Mine. I was supposed to shoot my second special in May. And then, you know, some stuff happened. <laughs> in the world that makes it so we can't be in groups anymore. I would love to be one of those people who has <laughs> bloomed their, their their creativity during this time. Um, yeah, it. I my creative process is usually on the road. So I write when I'm in transit. I write when I'm on the plane. I write when I'm on a train, on a subway, like, on, what, like before a show and I haven't been anywhere <laughs> for the last few months, but I'm also just trying to be nice to myself and be like, you know, it's okay to not work and grind every single day because we are in unprecedented times right now. And, and this is not normal. What hobby have you strangely picked up during quarantine? Strangely, I've been roller skating a lot and I love it, but it's fun. It's, it's a nice, quarantine activity because you can social distance hang with people and everyone's wearing masks and you're outside and it's just I feel like a kid when I'm doing it too I feel like I'm like truly playing and yeah I'll, I'll probably keep this skill after after the pandemic as well I just got a new rug <laughs> yes updating the home decor quarantine updates Okay, we'll be looking for that on your screen. Yeah, I'm inside a lot, so it's like, I gotta make the space good. <laughs> I've been reading It Didn't Start With You, and it's about how trauma is passed down in our DNA and in our cells, and it's really fascinating. It's really interesting to learn about how there's stuff that I just can't control because it's literally been passed in my genes. And yeah, I would recommend people read it. <laughs> it's really interesting. I've kind of always had a like socially aware voice. Um, and it's definitely grown and changed as I've grown and changed. And I think it's necessary. I mean, I don't know how to talk about my life on stage without talking about the fact that I'm a black woman who lives in America. I like working with organizations that align with the stuff I'm doing. I've been working with the ACLU for years now and I've written essays for them. I've written sketches for them. And I, I think it's a good way for us to combine our efforts where it's like they're trying to get a message out and I want to do it in a humorous way. Yeah, I just, I like that I'm able to be at a point in my career where I can combine things that I am interested in socially and then also my career as a comedian and and, and combine that and give that to my audience and, and they kind of expect it from me now too, which I also like. What would you say to young people who, you know, want to be in your footsteps one day, want to accomplish all the amazing things that you've done? What advice would you give to them? I would say write. I feel like I've gotten a lot of the stuff that I have because I wrote, because people saw something I did and they got a very clear idea of what my voice is. And people can't get that if you don't tell them, <laughs> if you don't put it out there. So I say like, write, create as much as you can. Um, you're gonna write some bad stuff and that is okay. Cause eventually it'll get better and then it'll be good. And the more you do it, the more uh, easy it'll be. And the more people will want to see more. What lesson did you want people to walk away from when they watch Woke? Ooh, um, I want people to know that there 
is a journey when it comes to becoming woke. Like we truly watch the main character, Keith, played by Lamorne Morris, go through a journey where he gets attacked by the police in the first episode and the rest of the season, we're watching his trauma from this. And I haven't seen too many things where we talk about the lasting effects of a racially charged incident. And I think it's great that we're doing that. And in a way that is, that can be funny. And uh, I, I think that helps ease some people's tension. And I think comedy can be a good tool to like break down people's defenses and open you up to talking about issues that make, make you uncomfortable. And yeah, but I want people to watch this and uh, keep the conversation going after you watch the show. Can you talk to me about what challenges you might have faced in your career early on when you were first starting now and how you chose to overcome those challenges? Thankfully, a lot of the things I've gotten hired for that were like, you know, my big break or whatever, I got hired because I was me. And because I started my journey as a comedian being unabashedly me and it, it's thankfully paid off. <laughs> What gave you that confidence though? Was it just your upbringing? Was it your family support? What do you think gave you that confidence right away? My mom has really like helped me be proud of my work and myself. She's the one who told me like, you have to tell people how to pronounce your name fully. Like <laughs> don't let them just say whatever and then move on. And yeah, <laughs> and that really applies to a lot of things in my life. Like I'm not just gonna let you move on and be and gloss over what I'm doing. I'm gonna like be very clear with my intentions and you're going to see it and understand it.